turn off the blower before disassembling. First, remove the housing bolts using an 8 mm box wrench. Next, remove the auto stop piece from the holder. Remove the power cable from the hooks. In doing so, be careful not to remove the screws securing the cable. Then remove the four screws securing the compression chamber using a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the M3 nuts and then take the diaphragm out of the main body. When replacing the diaphragm, please make sure to replace both sides of the diaphragms and the compression chamber. The replacing procedure should be conducted one at a time. Next, install a new diaphragm. Use the new M3 nylon nuts that come with the new diaphragm kit. Insert the discharging outlet of a new compression chamber assembly into the grommet and secure the compression chamber with the four screws. Also check if the oscillator rod is settled in the center. Place the power cable in the hooks where it has been placed before to avoid disconnection. Insert the auto stopper into the holder. Make sure that the auto stopper bar is inserted as far as it clicks. When it is not fully inserted, it may lead to failures. Screw the housing bolts with a Phillips screwdriver first, and then tighten with an 8mm box wrench.